Right, I forgot about the old bases. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, local. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Subnautica. And for today's episode, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to get to. But first, the biggest thing that's been eating away at me is the fact that I ended off last episode with a message waiting for me. So we're going to listen to this first. This is Officer Keen in Lightpod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. So he transmitted the coordinates to the rendezvous, which is dry land. We've seen that before, but those were corrupted. So I need to find my way there, but first I can find my way to him. That is really far away and really far down, which might be a problem. Hey, 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 get back here, food. So like I was saying, there are quite a few things that I hope to accomplish this episode, but one of the biggest is getting over to the Aurora, because you guys will remember at the end of last episode, we received a message from the Sunbeam which is a potential rescue ship. Like, we're trying to figure out where the rest of the survivors are going because there's a rendezvous, but I don't know if any of them know about actual rescue. So that should be high on my priority list. We have a Seamoth, we have a radiation suit, but I don't have a bunch of other important things. We could really use a laser cutter because it's not gonna be easy moving around an exploded spaceship. And I think I should get a propulsion cannon as well because I remember there being creatures that aren't as delicious as the ones around here. They're a little bit meaner. So I need to find the ingredients for those. I wouldn't mind making a habitat builder as well. If we could start building a base today, that'd be great. So what do I need for a wiring kit? Let's see here, wiring kit, I need silver. I can do that. Ooh, I might be able to get started on a base right now, actually. So the two silver ore we found last episode can make us a wiring kit. And then we can make a battery out of acid mushrooms and copper ore. We need that. We can make copper wire out of the copper that we found. And then the copper wire can be used with table coral samples and the gold that we found last episode to make a computer chip. I found just the right stuff to make this happen. And oh, we learned something. That's interesting. So crafting stuff can learn you new stuff. I didn't know that, but now we can make a habitat builder. So I might be able to build a little bit of a base this episode. It's designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay, I'm not totally sure where I want to build my base yet. Last time we built it on the island and I was really happy with that. So maybe we can try to find this island. First, I'm gonna have to go there though. Can my Seamoth go 300 meters deep? I guess there's really only one way to find out. So I was about to hop in the Seamoth and go and then all of a sudden we have another message. I'm very popular. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Yes. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Why do I get the feeling I wasn't supposed to hear that? Okay, so hold on. I, I think we are gonna rendezvous on the island, right? On a rock that small? There are no rocks around here except for that tiny little island. So the rendezvous is going to the island. The sunbeam is going to the island. If we find the island, we can get off this planet. <laughs> That's fantastic. I didn't even need to communicate with them. So if we're gonna find the rendezvous, we do need to go there. We do need to go as deep as possible. So where did I park my Seamoth? There you are, okay. Ooh, this is exciting. 
Come to think of it, we didn't spend any time last episode in the Seamoth, so if you guys haven't watched my old series, you have no idea how amazing this thing is. It feels so good. Hello, Karen. Stock model does not come with torpedoes, which can be a bit of a disappointment, but at the same time, the wildlife tends to screw off when you're in it. And you can go so much faster, so much deeper. It's everything a man wants. Did I seriously just get another message? I just left home. Okay, hold on, we're, we're turning around. Also, I didn't mean it like that. Faster, deeper, what a man wants. Get your mind out of the gutter. Who is calling me now? I'm in the middle of very important things. Hello? This is Light Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, approximate is not great sounding. Oh, immediate? Do you mean like, like right now? Because I was just gonna go look at something more interesting. Uh, I don't even see a marker. What kind of approximation are you giving me here, Karen? I don't see anything. Signal coordinates corrupted, approximate transmission origin recorded to databank. So this is my databank, but where on earth would that be? Uh, geological data? No, no, probably not. Oh, Aurora survivors? Okay, here we go. Life Pod 6 transmission origin. A distress signal has been received from Life Pod 6, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Okay, now we're talking. Little bit concerned that again, it's on the sea floor and I can see its insides are outside. Again. Crew requested assistance navigating radiation sunk to approximately 100 meters. Oh, so maybe they're inside. Located in an area dense with red grass near a number of natural arches and rock stacks. Transmission origin approximately 400 meters northwest of Life Pod 4's last location. Oh, so maybe I can't get to you right now because I don't know where Life Pod 4 is. Oh, wait, am I Life Pod 4? No, I'm 5. That's something that I should probably know. It's time to make an executive decision. It's getting dark. I don't think we can find six without four, so let's hope that four relays us anytime soon. And for now, I'm gonna get in the Seamoth and try to make my way to 19, because then we can find the island. There's so much stuff going on in this game now. I absolutely love it. It used to be well, nothing. Essentially, you would come across these life pods, but they were just there. There was no story. Now it's actually giving me direction and purpose, and it's awesome. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Oh, come on, guys. Really? A cave? You're not making it very easy to rescue you. I was going to say this doesn't make any sense, because they're much further away and much deeper than both the sea floor and this wreck. Stupid fish, get out of the way. I kind of want to check this out first. Ah, 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 get out of here. Actually, you know what, screw you. Yeah, screw you. How do you like that, huh? That's what I thought. I don't think there's anything I can do here. I can't get through these doors because I need to cut them open and I can't swim around for very long because my oxygen is taking a beating from the depth. Okay, you know what? This is fine. This is just fine. We're gonna go find a cave entrance. I'm sure that'll be easy. If they can fall into it, how hard it'll be for me to find it. Oh, here we go. Yup, getting a little deep. Little deep, getting a little dark. This is where Subnautica shines. Oh, I don't like this. I don't even want to get out of the sea moth. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, back it up. Oh, back it up. Oh, back it up, back it up, back it up. So, we can't reach you. Because you're 300 meters down, and I'm only able to go to 200. I can't imagine I can survive out there better than my submarine can. So... Am I just boned? I mean, they're boned. I need to upgrade my Seamoth, really? Biome 
diversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Oh, I can tell you the cause. It's because this place is dark and terrifying and a wasteland. What if we just swim over top of it? I don't need to go further down. I just want to observe. Okay, we got more wreckage. How far down can I go? Can I go right here? Yeah, okay. It's right around here. Is this a thing? Oxygen efficiency decreased. I can't scan any of this again. I need to cut through the doors. I also can't see a whole lot. Uh, I have a flashlight. Maybe that'd help. Uh, anything? I know, I know, I know. Thermal plant fragment. Okay. My oxygen is getting wrecked right now. All right. This is a bit of a waste of time, I feel like. Not sure we're gonna be able to help. Oh my god, you're so far down! Warning. Oh, nope, nope. Reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, I might be able to get down there really quickly with the sea glide and just grab whatever's left of them, because let's be honest, they're not alive down there right now. And then get back. Am I gonna pop? I think I only lose oxygen faster. Okay, let's just give it a try. Screw it. So, sea glide, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, please don't let me drown. Okay. Hello. Hello, 19. What are you? What is this? Uh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oxygen is 35. Uh, I need a PDA. They usually have a PDA. Where's your PD? I'm going for oxygen. No, I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'm, I'll come back. I don't want to drown. Definitely don't want to drown. I'm trying to swim to something, Karen. I'm doing my best here. Oh! <laughs> I pretty much plowed into it, but we're alive. We just need to be a little bit faster. Just a little bit, just a touch. I don't even know if there's a PDA in here, but usually there is. Yep, 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 PDA. Signal location uploaded. Got it. PDA. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's it. Oh. Data. Noise just scared the crap out of me. I thought it was my head exploding from the pressure. Hello, Seamoth. Let's just get out of here. We're just putting it full reverse. So we have Aurora Survivors, Life Pod 19, Second Officer Keen's crew log. To all crew, if you are reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this Life Pod's onboard computer, contrary to my orders. I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. So I have the coordinates now. Right? That's what we acquired out of the little chest. So we should be good to go. I don't have a whole lot of food or water, but I kind of want to make the trip. It's 400 meters to dry land, a thousand meters to my dinghy. So, yeah, dry land. I'm thinking dry land. How about we try that? Ooh. I see land. Land ho! We made it! Oh, yes! Oh, that feels good. Uh, my land mammal self very much appreciates this. Oh, that is awesome. Okay. So, there should be food here as well, right? I'm pretty sure there are fruit that grow on trees and stuff like that, so let's take a look around. Multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. That's a good thing, right? Energy signatures. That's uh, something people would make. Hmm. Rendezvous point is, what, down here somewhere? Other side of this ridge? Right, I forgot about the old bases. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Local. <laughs> No, no, that wasn't meant as a threat. Hey, 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 get, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, this is my island now. This is people's island. That's right. You, you can go have that half of the island. Because I'm going to be down here checking this out. Oh, man, yeah. So, technically, in the older version of the game, there were past survivors, but it wasn't Aurora survivors. But now we have both. So these people were here... Long before us, I'm hearing alien squirrels. What am I hearing? Oh, it's you! 
the eye guy's back. All right, now that's fine. So what's going on over here? Ultra glide fins. Those sound good. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Stab you. I'm gonna cut you so bad. You're gonna wish I had cut you so bad. Oh, PDA, I gotta go down there, excuse me. Yeah, they learned their lesson pretty quick. No, 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 you know what, you threatened. Ow, you threatened me. You threatened me. I felt threatened. All right, abandoned PDA. Degassi voice log. New PDA here. Paul Torkel's log number one, marooned. Supply crate, we got a battery. Interesting. Okay, so this was well worth it. Fortunately enough for me, I can scan you dead just as well as alive. Cave crawler. I don't see any caves, but I will pick up uh, some fruit. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having some of that. Can I eat some of you right now? Oh, man. Fruit is awesome. Yes, this is fantastic. Okay, we're good to go. So I think that's all that's here, and I have another message waiting for me back home, but right now, I gotta find the other people. There's gotta be people here somewhere, right? This signal doesn't make any sense. Every time I get close to it, there's nothing down there. Is it just the island that interests me? I mean, I'm almost at another base. They put a base at the top of each of these mountains, so we can see if there's anything interesting in here. Uh, maybe another PDA? Oh, wait, I can scan this stuff. <laughs> Get myself a swivel chair for the base that I'm going to make eventually. And a desk. I probably could have got stuff from the other one that I visited. Uh, abandoned PDA, okay. The gassy voice log number one. We'll listen and read all this stuff eventually. Oh, look at that. I can even scan the bulkhead. Interesting. Do I need to scan parts to learn about them? I don't remember that being the case. Okay, uh... Observatory, okay, so you get the basic components right off the bat. But to learn the fancy things, you gotta scan them. All right, scan everything, and then go find the survivors. Why do I feel like the rendezvous point is underneath the island? I'm not, okay, I'm not having a great time finding it right now, and I know there's a whole bunch of interesting things going on underneath the island. Like you guys, can I scan you? Ancient floater. Cool. Okay, we'll learn a little bit more about you, because it's not quite an island. It is just floating here. Want, yeah, right here. This has to be it. People, 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 people. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why? Rendezvous voice log. All right, what do you have to say? We have to board the Aurora, repair the long-range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen. Two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen, out. Lovely. So, everybody that made it to the rendezvous is now gone. And I need to go to the Aurora as I plan to anyway. So this entire trip was for fruit. So I do want to go to the Aurora, but first I feel like I should repair my Seamoth. Because you're hurting. Sorry about going so deep. And then I should listen to the message that's waiting for me. Because this is what's kind of directing me where to go, right? If I go to the Aurora now, I'm going to actually have access to it. Automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yaki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send an immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. That was weird. Burial detail? So are they dead? 
Carrying high priority passengers remains. Yeah, they're probably dead. Listen, man, I'm not really in the burial service. I'm trying to make sure that I don't need to be buried right now. But then again, I don't know. Like I said, I could go over to the Aurora, but I might not actually be able to get in there or do anything. I feel like I need to follow the story that's laid out in front of me. Oh man, I don't want to see a body. Now that I think about it, I don't think we've ever seen a model for another character in this game. We have seen pictures in like lockers and stuff like that, and we very rarely see the model for our own character. I'm pretty sure it was only in the trailer and stuff like that. Oh, this is a new biome. Hello, mushroom forest, with your giant creepy bioluminescent jellyfish and stuff like that. Uh, ooh, hi guys. They're cool, right? I'm pretty sure they're cool. I mean, they are, they look really cool, but they kind of look like they want to latch onto my face and lay the babies in my chest. In this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. How is it now? Because I don't see any plant life. I see giant face huggers and fungi. Karen doesn't know what the shit she's talking about, okay? LifePod13, thank you for having been easy to find. There's even peepers down here. Oxygen efficiency decreased. You guys cool? Yeah, they're cool. Okay, I want to grab this salt. Salt is very important. Um, flashlight. All right. I don't see any remains. New PDA data. See anything, actually. Nothing. Anything outside? More nothing. All right, then. What does this one have to say? LifePod 13 Emissary's voice log. Creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. Impact imminent. The universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Okay. So I'm starting to think that I'm the only one that had a good life pod because every other life pod that we have found is busted out the exact same way. Why did mine not explode? Or is something going around doing this to the life pods? Because they're sending messages and then every time I get here, holes. I don't have another message waiting for me at home as far as I know, so I kind of want to just float around here for a minute. Just take in the sights and hit them a little bit. Sorry, sorry about that. I'm just trying to see if there's anything interesting. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Oh. All damage imminent. Okay, yeah. A little deep. I can't believe I can only go 200 meters. What a rip off. Okay. Okay. Nope. All the nope. We're just gonna keep it in reverse. Windows up, kids. What did it just do? It just... Like, EMP'd, but it missed me, fortunately. Are you ever gonna give up? I wanna torpedo you so bad. What happened if I just drove into you? Stop, stop with the EMPs. Okay, you know what? Eh, how do you like that? Eh, how do you like me now? How do you like me now, you giant tentacle squid freak? Why is it going towards my home? Get out of here. Get out of here. I am gonna blow up my sea moth. I got 34 left. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but it's probably not good. Will you leave me alone? I'm getting out of here. I'm just going full speed home. If it follows me home, I am so boned. I'm so boned. Did I lose it? I think I lost it. I think we're good. Okay, let's just fix you up. <sighs> I don't like that place. And, of course, we get a message right now. Okay, note to self, buy torpedoes. Invest in torpedoes. Torpedoes are the future. Anything that can shoot things that can shoot at you is the future. 
definitely want to spend a little bit there, so let's just see what this message has to say. Hopefully it's not another pointless life pod like the last one. Did I even get anything out of that? Other than a good fright from that giant creature? This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Okay. That's it? You just looking for a place to park? Just bringing the car around? No big deal? Oh my god, finally. Can we shoot that thing that just attacked me from space, though? I would really appreciate that. Well, I've waited out the entire day. Still no word from the Sunbeam. They must be taking the scenic route to find a place to park. Maybe they can't find a place to park because there aren't enough likes on this video yet. You know what? Well, I bet that's the case. Maybe 3,000 likes and by next episode, they'll have found a place to park. That's just my guess. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Subnautica, guys. And I'm still really happy with the progress that we made today, even though it wasn't quite what I wanted to do. But, but honestly, that's a good thing. Like, it used to be that I would have to come up with what I wanted to do in an episode to make a video of this game, but now it has direction. It tells me what I need to do next if I want to progress, and that's awesome! That's exactly what I want! So now we're actually making progress, and rescue is on the horizon. So everything is great! Thanks so much for watching this video! I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time! <laughs>